Well, a mixed reaction for the beast, Bob Sapp. One of the most controversial figures in the world of professional fighting. Take a look at what happened at the weigh-ins when he literally broke an apple with his bare hands. And then he would go on to kick his opponent, Seljuk Ustabasi, at the weigh-ins, showing no respect for his opponent whatsoever. Now the haters are going to say that, you know, it's, it's always the same old stuff from Bob Sapp, fight after fight, that he has no respect for the sport, that he, that he doesn't take the sport seriously. His fans are going to say that he's one of the most entertaining people in the whole world of combat sports. And let's face it, whether you like him or you don't, he is one of the most successful fighters financially that there's ever been. And that's the bottom line as far as Bob Sapp is concerned. He's here to give you a show. And he is here to do what he does best. And that is capture the attention of people worldwide. We certainly know what he's capable of inside the ring. We've seen his fights with Ernesto Hoost. But what are we going to see from the 44-year-old Bob Sapp right here tonight? Is it going to be the same old, same old? Making his way to the ring, representing Turkey, Selçuk Ustabaje. at the weigh-ins and he's going to do exactly what he has to do regardless of what Bob Sapp has in mind for, for this one. In the NFC plus 100 kilogram division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 200 centimeters and weighed in at 150 kilograms. A veteran and legendary figure in the world of combat sports. Fighting out of the USA. Bob the Beast Sapp! His opponent awaits and fights out of the red corner. He stands 187 centimeters, his official weight and even 116 kilograms. His professional record flawless at 8 and 0 with 7 wins via knockout. Fighting out of Turkey, Selçu Mustafaşe! Ardan Eden is going to be very important in this matchup. I wish you a good fight, good sportsmanship. Thank you. Well, Bob Sapp looks like he means business, but we've seen that look before on his face. And we've seen what's happened in his fights before. So, are we going to see anything different this time or not? Here goes the bell. Round number one, and I wouldn't expect a round number two. Sap moving forward, catching some shots in the head. 
catching a lot of shots in the head, and there's a low kick. Sap firing back, though, and believe me, he's got a lot of power in those hands if he does want to use it. Look at how little the gloves look on the massive hands of Bob Sapp as he's beginning to cover up now. Ustabasi, a little bit hesitant to come in. Lands a big overhand right on Sapp. Sapp throwing the knee though. Ustabasi has an interesting look on his face. What is going through his mind right now? I can barely even hear myself think, and he hit him when he was down! Ustabasi hit Bob Sapp when he was already on the ground. And Sapp is turtling up here, and I wouldn't expect him to get up. Well, he's getting up slowly. The referee is not going to let him get away with that. <laughs> Sapp very slow to get up. He's shaking his head no, but well, now he's shaking his head yes. What on earth is going on here? We know Bob Sapp has done professional wrestling before, but well, there comes the towel. Uh-oh. I think there could be a riot in here. I don't know who threw in the towel. Sportsmanship from Bob Sapp as the two embrace in center ring. Certainly no surprises on the, on anybody's face. You get what you get, and hey, the promoters continue to book Bob Sapp. So what's he going to do? Say no? He's going to turn down the paycheck? You know what you're going to get. When Bob Sapp steps in the ring, but give the guy credit. Well, I think that uh, Selchuk Gustavasi just called somebody out. Well, I tell you, my opponent was very strong, very hard. Today, the beast learned Turkish spirit, Turkish heart, and Turkish toughness. Thank you. 